Okay, guys, teammates here. He and I'm gonna do another thing about the high low, the, uh, the high low griff monsters. Uh, holy plant. No, frick. How did the hell is the high low? Hi. Hi, hieroglyph. Um, I think that Steve deleted the video I made, but whatever. I'm gonna do it again, since he's such a jackass. <laughs> no offense, Steve. But still, uh, let's start. And I hate these ads. Go the. I don't want to talk to you, stupid ads. Okay, I think this deck is gonna be very good. It's very broken. And all I have to say is this. Okay, it says that. It's cast playing style. It it relies on special summoning and destroying cards, uh, mainly by tributing cards other than hieroglyph monsters. What makes the archetype powerful and interesting is the many is that many of its monsters allow you to tribute from your hand. See, tribute from your hand. How broke is that? In a manner similar to ritual summoning. There is another effect with all mid-level monsters, such as four, five, and six. When they are tributed, they can special summon a dragon type normal monster, either from the hand deck or graveyard. It is also a mandatory it is also mandatory to special summon, which means even if even though you have the tri tribute them from cost, its effects may still go through. So despite that, you're getting rid of your own monster and you won't lose much field advantage. Blah blah blah. So it's saying that's really good. So let's start. Hieroglyph Dragon Asset Dragon. So Hieroglyph Dragon Asset Dragon. Yeah. This dragon is so badass that it's just dragon twice. <laughs> so you can uh so that card looks pretty ugly. You can also summon this card without tributing. Ooh. But its original attack will become one hundred one thousand. Nah, that's bad. Well, well, uh, once per turn you, you can target one dragon type monster on the field. The, the level of all face up hieroglyph monsters you control becomes the level of that target. When this card is tributed, target one dragon type monster from your. from. with zero attack and defense from your hand, deck, graveyard, and special summon it. So this is kind of good, I guess. It's not the best. It's the one that changes the levels and that can be summoned almost automatically. I guess it's okay. Nah, it's not the best thing. And you want to tribute summon for it, so that's better, in my opinion. Wait, where is the big dragon that's like... It's like... Oh, crap. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's this one? Okay. No, okay. Whatever. Uh, Hieroglyph Dragon Gabe. So, what this card is pretty much is... It's... It's a Shura that can search. It's an 1800 beater, level 4 dragon type monster. When this card destroys a point sponsor by battle, sends it to the graveyard. I think it's mandatory. Target one. Yeah, it's mandatory. And special summon it. When this card is tributed. Okay. So, when this card is tributed, you get the special summon a hieroglyph normal monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. That's good. But when it attacks a monster and then destroys it by battle, uh, target one dragon type normal monster with zero attack and defense from your hand deck or graveyard and special summon it. Wow, this card is brus busted. So it's pretty much a Shura. And it's better because it's a dragon, which can be used with Red MD and other broken cards. Okay, so this looks. So this is the opposite of a. Uh, of the first one. So you can tribute one hieroglyph monster you control the special summon this card from your hand. That's good. Once per turn you can tribute one hieroglyph monster you, you control in your hand or graveyard to target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. When this card is tributed, ring a blah blah blah. A dragon type normal monster with zero attack and defense from anywhere in special summon. It. This is better than uh, than the first one I showed you guys. Cause you can special summon it and you have to tribute one hieroglyph monster. Even if that sounds kinda bad, still you get to tribute one hieroglyph monster which will mainly activate its effect to get the normal guy. And once per turn I can tribute a normal uh a normal no sorry, I can 
tribute one hieroglyph monster I control to destroy a monster my opponent controls. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good in my opinion. This card is a dark arm dragon. It's it's pr pretty much a dark arm dragon. So this card must be first special summoned from your hand. See, they made this thing more clear because there are noobs who are saying, "No, um, it says that. Oh no, you can't special summon Chaos Sorcerer again, uh, even if you already special summoned it." I'm like, I don't, I don't really care. Okay. Okay, I don't really care what you're saying, kid. So, <coughs> but by banishing three Dragon Sight monsters, by banishing three Dragon Sight normal monsters in your graveyard. Once per turn, you can banish one Dragon Sight monster in your graveyard to target one card in the field and destroy it. Has the same exact stats as Dark Arm, except has more defense. It's a level 8, which means it can work with trading. It's a light. That's good. It's which means it can work with honest. And it's also a dragon, which means it can work with red energy. How friggin' broken is this? Unlike and plus, it can be special summoned. Uh like it's like a BLS. Unlike Dad, when you special summon it once, that's that's it. You you can't pretty much special summon it again. So this card is really busted. I think this is the reason why they're gonna be busted. Like oh, like already. Okay, screw you, dancing goblin. So this boy. You you can special summon this card by tributing one face up higher growth monster you control. Once per turn you can tribute one higher growth monster except this card you control or in your hand. So, so which means you can tribute a hieroglyph monster in your hand or on the field, which will activate their effect to special summon a zero attack and defense position dragon type or nova monster, and and then I'll continue on, or in your hand to to target one spell or trap. So it's pretty much an MST on legs, and it's a 2200 beer that can be special summoned. It's decent, not good this format though. <laughs> Tefenti dragon. <laughs> Oh, this is a Cyber Dragon-like effect. Uh, but when this card is tributed, target one Dragon type, blah blah blah, special summon it, blah blah blah. I'm on my channel, I'm on the screencaster. Okay, uh, random thing. This is how I make my videos, screencastomatic.com. It's good. Hire of Dragon, Usir Dragon, whatever that is. So, oh cool, he looks badass. Um, but he sucks ass. Okay, uh, so you can special summon this card by banishing one light type dragon monster and one dragon normal monster in your graveyard. Uh, if this card will be destroyed, you can tribute one face up hieroglyph monster instead. Yeah, this card is not good. Do not run this. Okay, uh, before I get to the last two. This is the this is the target that you always want to get. Um, it's a hieroglyph, level eight dragon, zero attack and defense. Any clues? So this is good, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, let's get to the two exceed monsters. See, this deck has two exceed monsters already. So like, I think this all comes out in one set. Let's show the OCG sets. No, no, never mind. Yep, all comes in Galactic Overload. It's a secret rare. It's a super rare. Wow, that's pretty good. So, two level 6 Dragon type monsters. You can make this pretty easily. Not as easy as the, not, not, not as easy as the next one. Once per turn, you can detach one Exceed Material from this card. Special summon one Dragon type monster from the deck. But its attack and defense become zero. This card cannot declare the attack. Uh, that turn you activate this effect. This is busted. Uh, this 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 isn't broken. In my opinion. <laughs> this card is so amazing. Uh, you bring out, for example, a red MD. Yay! Effect. Get another dragon. Get the Shura guy. Attack. Get the the big level eight guy. And then you can just do more broken crap. And, whew, this is really good. But this is their win condition. This is why they special summon a normal type dragon type monster. It's, it's, this is why they special summon a normal type level 8. It looks just all badass and all big and shit. Hieroglyph dragon. 
Hieroglyph God Dragon in a, in a whatever. 3,000 attack, 2,400 defense. Two level 8 monsters. Hmm, how are you gonna special summon that? Once per turn, you can detach one exceeding material from this card and tribute any number of monsters you control in your or in your hand. The destroy number of cards your opponent controls equal to the same number amount of tribute. So pretty much, you, you get to tribute all of your, for example, I think you can make a loop with this because because I detach my lovely exceed material, tribute a bunch of my hieroglyphs, activate their effect, get one level 8 normal type from the deck, one level 8 normal type from the field, exceed again, activate it to uh, exceed to again, what's his face, hieroglyph god dragon, then activate its effect, do that, and then tribute a bunch from your hand, then get two, and then get one last yeah, then get your last normal one, your normal dragon type from your deck, and the last one from the grave, or both from the grave, or both from the wherever you want. And then make three of him. No, yeah, and then make three of him. Then you go rape, rape, rape all over your opponent's face for 9,000 damage. So, like, that's an OTK. This deck's an OTK based deck, in my opinion. This deck can be based on its turbo build and can be based just on their own narrative. Um. But in my opinion, I think that the OTK build is going to do a little bit better because uh, it brings out three 3,000 meters. With the help of your MST and your Dark Arm Dragon, which is another level 8, derp. It's like really, really crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start building this deck. I'm going to start playing with it. And I'm going to try and get this deck because I'm really, really interested in playing. But it's going to be expensive. I can already tell. It's going to be expensive as hell. Um. His deck is gonna be the better version of Insectors because you can run Honest. It's just really good, and I suggest for everybody to find about the higher good because it might get further support in the next. Okay, I don't care about Peaches, um, <laughs> and yeah. So I'm gonna call this segment Archetypes. Looking over the archetypes, I don't know. I'll find out something. That's it, guys. Peace.